يقولون الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم كن وليك بحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك توغا وتمتعه فيها طويلا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد if you open to page 49 and it's Surah Al-Baqarah, middle of the page, ayah number 285. So I'll recite and we'll talk a little bit on these ayat. It says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Aman ar-Rasul bima unzila ilayh min rabbih wal-mu'minun. Kullun aman billah wa malaikatih wa kutubihi wa rusulih. La nufarriqu bayna ahadin min rusulih. وقالوا سمعنا وأتعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا لا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تُحَمِّلْنَا مَا لَا طَاقَةَ لَنَا بِهِ وَعْفُ عَنَّا وَاغْفِرْ لَنَا وَارْحَمْنَا أَنْتَ مَوْلَانَا فَانْصُرْنَا عَلَى الْقَوْمِ الْكَافِرِينَ Regarding these ayat from Surah Al-Baqarah and Ayat Al-Kursi and the ayat Aman Al-Rasul, Riwayat state the importance and that they carry both Shifa and cure. Now Abdullah bin Abbas reports that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said, On the night of Mi'raj when I was taken to the skies and to the Sidratul Muntaha which is the highest point there, there I was bestowed with three gifts. First it was the five times prayers at these five designated times that we offer and then Surah Al-Baqarah, and three, forgiveness of my, of my nation was given to the Prophet, as long as they are not a mushrik. In a report, a place wherein these ayat are recited, for three days that shaitan will not be present then, and then further states that in the end of Surah Al-Baqarah are ayat, which are dua, and at the same time, they are the rida and contentment of the Allah, Almighty Allah. To the Prophet wasallam, a few of the companions, they came and they said that from the house of Thabit bin Ghais Shammas, one of the companions of Rasulullah, they said that there is a nur that is glowing, which is seen from that house. The Prophet said he was reciting Surah Al-Baqarah. They came to him and inquired. He replied, yes, I was reciting the last ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah, the ones which we recited, Aman al-Rasul, until the end. He further said, that is Rasulullah, by reciting these ayat at night, it is like occupying the entire night in worship. And if these ayat are the, these ayat they were revealed from the treasures of the heaven. And then he says that he Allah Taala he wrote to them before the creation was given existence. His needs for here this world and the hereafter they are granted. One who recites these ayat. And the Prophet ﷺ, he further states that one who recites the first four ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah, that is Alif Lam Mim, Bismillah rahman rahim Alif Lam Mim, and the first four ayat, and then Ayat Al-Kursi, topped up by the last three ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah, the Prophet says that he will be protected, his wealth will be protected, his health will be saved, no harm will come to him and shaitan will not draw closer to him by the barakat of these beautiful ayat. 
The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, he further says that learn Surah Al-Baqarah, reciting it is barakah, not reciting it is a means of regret. And he further says that magicians and spellcasters, they have no access to one who recites these ayats. Amen al-Rasul bima unzila ilayh until the end. Now this, these ayat that we see, Amen al-Rasul bima unzila ilayh min rabbih until the end, this is a mutual talk that took place between Allah Taala and Rasulullah says in that glorious hadith that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala said Amana rasul bima unzila ilayhi min rabbih which means the apostle he has faith in what has been sent down to him from his lord Allah said this ayah immediately Rasulullah said I myself and on behalf of my nation said وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ كُلٌّ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ لَا نُفَرِّقُ بَيْنَ أَحَدٍ مِنْ رُسُلِهِ سَمِعْنَا وَأَتَعْنَا غُفْرَانَكِ رَبَّنَا وَإِلَيْكَ الْمَصِيرِ That is, and all the faithful with the mu'mineen, each of them has faith in Allah, his angels, his scriptures, his apostles and then we make no distinction between any of his apostles we believe in all of them all 124,000 prophets and the prophet says to Allah that we all that is including the mu'mineen we say that we hear and we obey our Lord forgive us and toward you is the return when the Prophet said this, Allah quickly continues saying that لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت which means Allah does not task anyone beyond its capacity. Whatever good any soul earns is to its benefit and whatever evil it incurs is to its harm. So the good and the bad that we do, it is ours. And then the Prophet says, I then asked the Almighty, Rabbana la tu'akhizna in nasina aw akhta'na says, O Lord, take us not to task if we forget and make mistakes. Allah in reply says, The merciful God, Rabbana la tahmil alayna isran kama hamaltahu ala alladheena min qablina. And then this is again that further dua of the Prophet that our Lord placed not upon us a burden as you placed on those who were before us. Because the nations before us, the nation of Bani Israel, the ahkam that they had, they were difficult, they were very severe, they were very tough. But for the nation of Rasulullah, we don't see these severe ahkam. So then when Rasulullah said, further in this to my dua, he, then I said, Rabbana la tuhammilna ma la taqata lana bih, wa'fu anna, waghfir lana, warhamna, anta mawlana. Our Lord, lay not upon us what we have no strength to bear. Excuse us and forgive us. Be merciful to us. You are our master. Help us against the faithless lot. The Almighty further said, All what you desired and wanted from me, I bestowed and gave you and to your nation. So this, these ayat, they are a communication, a talk between Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Now in these ayat, Tawheed, the monotheism that we believe in, the oneness of God, Nabuvvat has been mentioned, Ma'ad, the return and the belief in the day of judgment has been mentioned. And in these ayat, man is prepared to perform 
his divine duties and in seeking Allah's mercy and forgiveness is mentioned. A lot of emphasis is mentioned in riwayat to recite these, these two ayat. Reciting them is like benefiting from the treasure, from the divine treasure. It is like honoring the Prophet ﷺ, which is mandatory, and his account is different. That is why in these ayah, the name of the Prophet has been mentioned, and then the believers and their aqaid, they are mentioned. The existence of deen, the religion, is by the leadership and the prophethood of Rasulullah ﷺ, where it says, Amana Rasul bima unzila ilayh. That what we learn from these ayat is that a muballigh, a preacher, a propagator, a teacher, he must have faith in what he preaches. Aman al-Rasul, that belief should be there. The books were revealed to educate man, that when he say, Aman al-Rasul bima unzila ilayh min rabbih, books were revealed from God. So we have to have faith in all the prophets, as they have, as the, all of them, they have one aim, وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ So the aim of all of the prophets is one. I also have to have faith in all of them, without any exceptions, picking and choosing, all of them, all of the 124,000. That what makes one seek his maghfirah, his forgiveness is iman and Amal, action, faith and actions. So with these two, that is faith and action, and then also in the ayat we say, سَمِعْنَا وَأَتَعْنَا غُفْرَانَكَ رَبَّنَا سَمِعْنَا we heard, وَأَتَعْنَا and we were obedient. غُفْرَانَكَ your forgiveness, O Lord, رَبَّنَا our Lord. In addition to faith and actions, you still have to have hope in his forgiveness. But you say, سَمِعْنَا وَأَتَعْنَا غُفْرَانَكَ رَبَّنَا Always we have to have hope in the mercy of Allah, in his forgiveness. And these ayat also train and teach us to further have that and enhance that hope in him. So forgiveness is the right of the Almighty Allah, where we say, غُفْرَانَكَ رَبَّنَا that is, Rabbana, forgiveness is yours, O Lord, O our Lord. Now, beautiful ayat, beautiful meaning of it. And at times, the reason for forgetfulness of man is also mentioned as our own negligence, which is punishable. Now, in, in Surah Taha, there is an ayah which says, Qala kadalika atatka ayatuna fanasitaha wa kadalika liyawma tunsa. Therefore, uh, we sent our signs to you, you forgot them. Because you forgot our signs, we will also forget you in the year after, he says. Therefore, in this ayah, forgetting is mentioned by wrongdoing and seeking forgiveness. So among the severe penalties and atonements applied to the nations before us was to seek his pardon for the corruption they had caused. And in this ayah, Man, he wants all the stages of lutf from God. Stage one is the is the af, which is pardon, removal of all effects of sins and punishment. Stage two is the maghfira and removal of all the effects of sins from one's soul. And stage three is to benefit from God's mercy, victory over the kuffar. This is one of the a qaid that we have, one of the teachings that we get, that we always have to have this iman, this aqidah, that Islam has to win over the kuffar. And in this dua iftitah that we are reciting every day, the same thing is over there. Inna nargabu ilayka fi dawlatin karima tu'izzu biha al-islam wa ahla wa tuzillu biha al-nifaq wa ahla we want to be in a rule, a dignified rule, rule of the Imam, wherein Izzat is given to Islam and the adherence of Islam, and defamation and disgrace is given to all those who stood against them, Kufr, kufr and Shirk and Nifaq. 
So, la yukallifullah nafsan illa wasaha. Allah does not burden a soul more than its capacity. La yukallifullah nafsan illa wasaha. And then he says, I have been appointed for the simple and easy religion, that is, the Prophet. مَا جَعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي دِينِ فِي الدِّينِ مِنْ حَرَجْ يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ Allah wants ease for you. And again the Prophet, he says, بَعَثَنِي بِالْحَنِفِيَةِ السَّهْلَةِ samha. That is, the I have been appointed for the simple and easy religion. So, the duties are never over and beyond one's capacity. So, we cannot say that this was too much upon me. Allah burdens every individual based upon his capacity. If it's pain, if it's grief, if it's sorrow, if it's whatever you can think of mishap, it's based upon every individual's capacity. Beyond that, he doesn't. That is against his adl and justice. Our actions, they have a reaction. Whatever we do, good and bad, it will turn back to us. We find that also in this ayah. لَهَا مَا كَسَبَتْ وَعَلَيْهَا مَا اكْتَسَبَتْ That is, uh, actions may be in my favor, actions may, be, may go against me, whatever I do. That is why we have been asked to be extra cautious of our actions and what we do, what we think, what we say, what we, how we move. So man is free, has been given to him, is man is free, and this freedom has been given the, cho with the choice to choose. It's mine. I cannot say that everything is binding upon me from Allah. No. Laha ma kasabat, he says in these ayat. So, whatever I do is mine, good or bad. So, performing or abstaining an action, the benefit and the loss also, it's ours. It says, laha ma kasabat, wa alayha ma kasabat. Laha means in your favor. Alayha means against you. So those who admit and say, Sami'na wa ata'na. Now we also recited these ayat. We said, Sami'na, we heard. Wa ata'na, we, we were obedient. Are just, they are adil, they are muttaqi, they fear and worry, they're wrong. And the forgetfulness that is in Nasina or akhtana, they, they are worried about all that. So history and the performance of the bygones should be a lesson and a means to learn. And we have to seek refuge in God at all times. That when it says that Kama Hamaltahu Alladina min Kablina, like those people who you burdened uh, who were before us, means that history. So we have to look into the history and the bygones and how they sought refuge in God. We also look into the history and the past and how the nations they suffered and we seek refuge in God. So among the adab of du'a is to portray one's helplessness, one's weakness, that he should admit and say, La taqata lana. God, I have no power, I have no might, I have no ability. I testify this. And I also testify that uh, I admit this. And I also testify the greatness of his. And that is, Anta mawla. Now, you are our master. You are our Lord. And then we say, Wa'fu'anna wa'fir lana. That is, forgive us. And then um, have Wa'fu'anna. Um, wave the wrong that we have done and forgive us. Victory of Islam over Kufr also. It's the Mu'min's permanent wish where we say, Wansurna ala al al kafirin. And um, make us win over the faithless lot. Beautiful ayat beautiful meanings and recite them daily if you can once during the day once at night amen al rasul bima unzila ilayhi min rabbih wal mu'minun kullun amana billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi la nufarriqu bayna ahadin min rusulih wa qalu sami'na wa ata'na ghufranaka rabbana wa ilayka al masir لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته 
ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد